sashimi and sushi, two words that give me gastronomic goosebumps. Hashimashite! Kari desu. What is the tradition behind serving ginger with all of the seafood in Japan? Ginger, it acts like a sorbet. Oh, jalapeno. You probably should put a warning on those. So, thumb on top. Pressure from there, and then pressure from there, and then flip it over. I like how you just did that with one hand. You'd eat that, wouldn't you? We're here at Sydney Cove Oyster Bar. And we've got Andrew, the head chef. He's going to tell us exactly why you should all crave oysters. Now, you're an oyster expert. <laughs> Explain the difference between a Pacific oyster and a rock oyster. OK, other than their location, they're what's, what you'd know as a cold climate oyster. Bigger or smaller than a bigger, rock oyster? Bigger. They're a bigger so they're bigger oyster. and saltier? Bigger, saltier, they grow a lot faster. A little oyster fork. It's just a very dainty fork. It's very lady fork. All right, bon appetit. Bon appetit. What are the crunchy bits? That's the wild lime. Oh, wild lime yum. is also known as a finger lime. Drinking oysters seems to be a whole other issue to me. Evil little oysters. Yeah. One gulp, down it goes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel really buzzy from that vodka. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Eat Street. Each week we're going to take you on a journey of discovery and indulgence through some of Australia's best restaurants. Well, just across the road from Bill and Tony's is Pello. It serves modern Australian cuisine and was started in 2003. Can you take us through how you prepared this? Sure. It's very neat. My cooking never looks this <laughs> neat. But I say the true test is in the eating. When it comes to food that's fabulous for you, nothing packs a punch like fruit. Right, on the search for gelato, it's got grilled bugs, look at that. Can't wait. This one? You put that with a bit of mayonnaise, it's fantastic. Mm, we'll some more. We've got scallops, we've got fish, we've got pippies, we've got crab. I really came here for the salt and pepper squid. So if you were a boy, you'd be making your girlfriend or your wife some eggs as well, so you need double the amount. <laughs> Travel the globe. There's only so much you can learn in one place. The more that you wait, the more time that you waste. <laughs> nice, nice and warm. What am I doing? I just got that. <laughs> In addition to the typical methods of communicating, they use their body language to converse. 